Well, hello everyone. Surprise, surprise. Finally, another video for me. Um, sorry for the long delay since my last video. I know I said that I was going to stop with the regular uploads and start just making videos when I felt like it, but I did not plan to have this long of a period of time in between videos. A uh, few reasons for that. One is just craziness with family and the new puppy and kind of some of the stuff I talked about in that last video, but also um, I was having some issues with my camera, so I, um, I had to actually send it in for some warranty service on it, like a repair, and that took forever. And actually they were waiting on a part for it for a long time and never even got that part, just sent me a replacement, which is, it's been a whole frustrating experience. So anyway, finally have uh, a camera again. I mean, I could have used my phone, but once you go to a better camera than your phone, it's hard to go back. and just didn't really feel like it so down here in the fish room just wanted to do kind of an update on what's been going on with the fish room the fish me everything over the past couple months and honestly I'm at a little bit of a, a crossroads in this hobby right now um, I'm really not as excited as I used to be by about breeding basically just really not not as into breeding I mean, it's, I can see why a lot of people like it. I liked it for a while. It just kind of gets boring. It's like you've got these groups and they breed and you raise them and you sell them or you give them away or you do what, keep them or whatever you do. But it's just kind of the same process over and over again. And you can get different fish and I could get different fish and different breeding groups, but it's just kind of like, eh. And another problem for me is that most of these fish are down here in the basement in this little room that I work out in, but that's about it and I, I just never see them. Like, having a fish room is great, I guess, if you can really spend time in there, and this just isn't, it's really the only room in the house that I could do this in, but it's not a room where I really wanna spend much time, so. That's kind of been a, a bummer about it, and then, I don't know, I'm just, what I'm finding, I think, is that, and, and maybe some of you can relate, I love aquarium projects. I love setting up tanks and building systems and all these things that I've done, but just keeping a fish room, maintaining a fish room, it's just not that exciting to me. It's pretty much just like a part-time job that's like not that fun. I mean, I, I, maybe some of you are like me where you see all these people in their fish rooms and you think, oh God, I would love to have a big fish room like that. That'd be so awesome. Well, I can tell you that now I have one and the reality of it is like you want a fish room but what you get is a job and like that's cool in some ways and it really can be a fun extension of the hobby but I'm I think I'm probably shutting this room down if I'm if I'm being honest I think I'm you know I've got 220 upstairs that I don't plan to to take down anytime soon and I've got the 125 that I just got back and, and I'm not sure what the long-term plan is for that one but all this stuff down here I think I think I'm I'm ready to part with probably so I sort of say this every time I talk about selling anything just if any of you guys are near central Ohio like Columbus Ohio or can get here in a reasonable amount of time and and are into any of this stuff down here which you've probably seen many times racks with 40 breeders that are drilled and well there's a bunch of fish down here too most of which I would probably part with um, just let me know I've actually started shutting some of these down if I look up here, there are two of these uh, 10 gallons up top that are shut down. And then over here, um, up above these 255s is a 33 long that I've shut down. I've taken all the breeder, uh, all the tumblers off and the uh, marina breeder boxes off of this tank just because I've kind of stopped stripping females and keeping fry. So. Anyway, that's uh, that's what's going on down here. You know, there's still... Let me just show you what fish are in here. This is a White Lips uh, that came along with the... Uh, if it'll focus. It's a White Lips that came along with uh, the 125. Not in the 125, but it's a female White Lips. Not sure what I'm going to do with her. That is the Star Sapphire. Who's not been doing super great. I'm not sure what's going on with him. Uh, and then that is, sorry for the glare guys, I didn't plan this, <laughs> I didn't plan this video out, 
as well as I have some of these tours down here. Um, I could do the whole thing where I shut off all the lights to all the other tanks, but that's, I feel like that's kind of annoying. Um, that's the F1 red shoulder who's been a little bit sick too. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with that tank. Like, I haven't had any issues with the fish that are on that left side. I've I moved fish that were on the left side down to this 40 breeder down here. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that guy. Um, these are the Z, this is a Z Rock group. They're still doing fine. Um, and there's some Synodonis in there as well. Down here, the Blue Neon group. Most of them are hiding. I do like how much quieter this room is now that I don't have those marina boxes chugging along. Uh, and over here, these are the fish I just said I moved down. There's some, uh, these are sunshines. They are not Benga, they are Malarize. And one of the males I actually took out of there and put upstairs. I moved a bunch of fish around, which I'll show you once I go upstairs, but I lost a, a couple fish out of the 220, so I moved a bunch of the fish that were big enough out of the 125 and into the 220, and then I moved uh, fish that were big enough in these various tanks up to the 125. That's part of why I could shut that 33 long down. It's because I had the the spate, like I didn't have anything in it anymore. There, that male, you kind of saw him back there. Uh, and then up top, I just have some of the remaining uh, fry that I haven't sold yet. These are Xerox. There are blue neons over here. There's a couple of Giselle, tiny Giselle in there, and some more blue neons over there. Um, up here, that is the Giselle group, and the male is actually, he's not at a great angle right now for you to see him, but the male's actually been looking better than ever in there, which is awesome. This is my wild caught red shoulder who is hiding up in the corner. I was trying to tap and see if I could get him to move. Let me tap over here. Here he goes. Of course he's in the back now, but you guys have all seen him plenty of times. Dragon Blood group is looking fine. Man, I gotta tap like right, right on these guys to get them to move. Yeah, still not cooperating. Over here, this is the bottom 55. I've just got a few. You can see back there a few male Dragon Bloods that are growing out. And this is kind of my smaller grow out these days. See, there's like a Venusus in there, a bunch of random other fish. Like I said, I moved most of the fish that were um, big enough upstairs, so this is all some pretty small guys. So yeah, that's uh, that's what's going on right now down here. Those are all the all the tanks that are left. So um, let me move it on upstairs and show you what's going on in the 220 and the 125. Okay, so we're up here at the 125, and uh, sorry, I'm whispering because. The kids are asleep, and uh, this mic seems to be pretty sensitive anyway. I probably forgot to turn the settings down when I got the new camera. Real, got a real hot mic here. Um, anyway, so like I said, I moved some fish up here from downstairs, and there were some other smaller fish that are still in here from, uh, you know, that I got along with this tank. Some really, really nice looking fish in here though, honestly. If you guys can see some really nice uh, dragon blood slash firefish. I moved uh, moved a couple of the albino ruby reds up here. These guys are hanging out over here. This guy's really nice. If he'll cooperate. Anyway, just kind of using this as a grow out right now, so not really sure what the plan is long term with this. If 
I'm going to keep it or not. Probably, if I had to guess, I would lean toward not. But the filtration's been uh, doing great. It's an FX6 and two Sun Suns. Yep, looking great. Let's go look at the uh, 220. Okay, um, here's the 220. Like I said, I did lose a few fish out of here. Um, one that really bummed me out, my original Blue Neon, I lost. He was like the first peacock I ever got back when I had all Ambuna. I kind of got him on a whim and that caused me to get rid of all my Ambuna and switch over to peacocks and haps. Yeah, I lost him. I was really sad. I also lost my big, really nice Redfin Borlei. I was very sad about that. I mean, you know, it happens when you got African cichlids. You just kind of lose some fish sometimes, but did move some fish up here to compensate, so still have a nice, nice looking overstocked tank. And I don't really see a ton of aggression, but I know it happens sometimes because you know you'll kind of lose a fish out of nowhere, which is a bummer. But I don't know. There are times when that really wears on me, and I think about do I want to make a change? Do I want to get, you know, do I want to switch from peacocks and haps to doing just like something simple, like just get one big central or south american fish and put that in here instead like that could be kind of cool you know have it be more like a pet instead of just all these fish i don't know like i said I'm just kind of at a weird place in the hobby right now i think that's something that people go through you know people are always changing what they keep and i'm no different so anyway just wanted to do a little update show you guys that i'm still around still have fish Sorry again for the long absence. And again, if you're interested in anything downstairs, um, let me know. Should be able to work something out. All right, well, that's it for this time. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And until next time, have a good one.